it's news time information is power the current the news headline don't support any northern candidate for 2023 presidency southern middle belt politicians want the southern and middle belt alliance samba has warned that any politician in the southern or middle belt region pushing for a northern president in 2023 uh, presidential election has put himself into a weak position in the power equation. The group added that such politician is acting like a slave. In a statement issued on Monday and signed by the Wang Palm Jr., the group stressed that it is not in the interest of the Nigeria's unity for power to remain in the North, considering a northerner is about to complete eight years of presidency. Some groups in, the, in both the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and the Opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, with members from the South and Middle Belt, as, uh, as, have actually made such clamor that a northerner should succeed President Muhammad Buhari in 2023. However, Samba pointed out that the amalgamation of Southern and Northern Protectorates uh, in 1914 was based on a mutual agreement and was never with the intention that the Southern region should play second fiddle to the North. The group said that we have observed that some Southerners and Middle Belters whose God is their belly have started drumming support for Northern candidates without consideration for their people's political aspirations and to this group of people, primordial objectives and the fattening of their bank accounts seems to matter most. In 2015, the whole Northern Nigeria united to support and realize the presidential ambition of General Muhammadu Buhari on grounds that it was the turn of the North to produce the next president. For this reason, it would be hypocritical to deny the South their turn to presidency. If you recall, the threats and demand for a president of Northern extraction was so strong that the members of the then ruling party, the People's Democratic Party PDP, were unable to campaign openly for any Southern candidate in the North. Therefore, this begs the question, how is it now the, uh, that some Southerners and Middle Belters are against power shifts to the South? Following this, and even as we admit that everyone has the right uh, under the law to support the candidate of their choice, the South and Middle Belt aspiration for the presidency should not be toyed with for selfish benefits. Consequently, any Southerner or Middle Belt uh, drumming support for any Northern candidate in the 2023 election is a political slave and should be called out, the group added. Tinubu already has 12 million votes ahead of 2023 election campaign group boasts. As the 2023 presidential election keeps drawing near, a campaign group loyal to the Ashuaju Bola Tinobu, the Southwest agenda for Ashuaju Swaga on Friday declared that the national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Tinobu, already has 12 million votes in the bag. Chairman of the Pro Tinobu group, Senator Adedayo Adedeye, who stated this on Channel's TV politics, uh, said that the former Lagos state governor would replicate President Muhammadu Buhari's 2015 feat when he got 12 million votes from the North. Speaking of the program, Adeyeye noted that the chances of President Muhammadu Buhari uh, to contest, uh, to win uh, you know, in the next uh, presidential election uh, is on the high side, although Sinubu has not yet publicly declared his intention to contest in the office in 2023. Adeyeye said that don't forget that one of the selling points for President Muhammad Buhari in 2015 was that he already had 12 million votes in his pocket in the previous election, particularly in the Northwest and Northeast. Therefore, it was easy, with support from a few other places for him to win the presidency. The one is a had actually said that the southern region should be considered for the next president of the country. Question then is that where were these people in 2013 when the APC leaders came up with the power rotation solution? And where were they 
when in 2015, Ibuari Nodana became the first APC candidate to benefit from the arrangement. Also, the Northerners uh, Governors Forum, uh, they, they actually agreed as well too that uh, what the Southern Governors had actually uh, said about zoning the presidency to the South was actually not uh, constitutional. And it is wrong because according to the Constitution of the 19, uh, 1999, as amended, it says that uh, it, that uh, they can actually, you know, the presidency can be, uh, depends on the number of votes, like the highest votes, and then the person uh, would emerge. And there was nothing like, you know, zoning the presidency, you know, to, uh, you know, to a particular place at a particular time, according to the Constitution, and that they were not uh, in support of what the Southern Governors had said about zoning uh, the presidency to the South this time around. But however, this writer is of the opinion that when the APC leaders came up with the power rotation solution as of 2013, uh, where were these people? Why didn't they raise a dissenting voice as of then? And um, uh, this was what made Buhari uh, in order become president in the first uh, place and the first APC candidate to benefit from such arrangements. Then why are they suddenly finding their voices now that it is, it is the turn of the South to benefit from the zoning arrangement and agreement? The Northern elders and the leaders, Northern governors, should understand that the zoning formula was developed to deepen inclusiveness and oneness in Nigerian democracy and any attempt to kill it would undermine the country's democracy and eat up the policy. So, this is not about bragging about numerical strength. It is a matter of common sense. It is realizing that strength without control is dangerous, even to the well-being of the North. And that is why this writer is of the opinion that there needs to be, you know, a consensus to follow the status quo that brought President Momodou Buhari uh, to become the presidential flag bearer uh, between 2015 and 2023 which made him the president as well. And thereafter, it is time for the South, and there is need to accept these terms uh, in the spirit of, you know, the best interest and, um, you know, inclusiveness and equity in the country. Seeing that the Northern Elders Forum and also the Arewa and some others that are opposing this agreement need to understand that uh, for a better country, you know, and for equity, fairness, and justice, this uh, agreement and zoning formula should actually uh, be allowed to take place so as to stop the country's uh, democracy from eating up. Thanks for listening.